to tear down the stock beam. Let's go for a walk. So, I have to, well, I have been taking the stock beam and taking it apart. So, pretty close. Uh, spindles are out. Um, Breaks off. Not too many issues there. Um, really wasn't too big of a problem. But one thing I ran into a problem with that I wanted to put on video here was the steering. So I have a basically a blank canvas here with a Wagons West just beam only. So all of the crap inside the stock beam has to go in here. And as you can see, the steering control arm mechanism does not exist in that. So, ran into a problem that I figured out how to solve with the steering mechanism. And I wasn't sure how this all worked, and I gave it a gentle tap on the top, and sure enough, there you go. Pops right out. So, that's going to come out, go inside the Wagons West kit and then I'll put the control arms back on and should be good to go and then I'll have to uh, at some point have to uh, pull the leaves uh, cut them down to size because this is a narrowed beam as well so we'll cut down the beam uh, the leaves to size uh, to size there and uh, I'll probably document that along the way as well so there we go a little update there um, just about finished tearing down this stock beam and I got a giant mess in my garage but check it out a big empty hole underneath the bus today I have uh, been working on uh, basically building the Wagons West beam um, and I gotta tell you, that was probably um, one of the hardest things uh, that will go on with this entire project. So, um, basically what had to happen is, is because this Wagons West beam is a four inch narrowed beam, you have to pull the, um, you gotta pull leaf springs and you have to narrow those. So Wagons West offers uh, or, or ships a kit to narrow it, actually comes with a tool, looks like this and it precisely lines up where the holes need to be drilled uh, for the grub screws and um, measured out to cut down to size so very uh, not not hard but uh, time consuming piece i don't have a drill press so that was probably one of the bigger issues um, so that took a little bit i was trying to drill by hand and then uh, just using my air tools I used uh, so basically the included drill bit and a little air cutoff tool um, to cut down the two sets of leaf springs that go with uh, the stock beam so then the hard part came was trying to put the leaf springs back in uh, and align them up inside the beam uh, which is you have to be just extremely patient and it takes time. I found that putting a couple in at a time helped um, But there's just no easy way to do it. You just have to be patient and you got to let it uh, line up um, So end result Let's go check it out The beam is now put back together Got new tie rods that are already narrowed, comes with the kit. So that's ready to go. I'll have to align it once I get it on the bus. But um, so what's next? Time to put the beam back on. So I'm gonna time lapse that. We'll see how long it takes. Not exactly sure how long that's gonna take, um, but here we go.
too terribly bad. Um, they, on the Wagons West website, suggest using a couple 2x4s to prop the beam up when you put it back in, and I did not start that. And I ended up doing it because it's a really good idea. And so here's what I did. Literally two 2x4s two with two nails. And that's it. Just made a T. And as you can see, uh, maybe in the time lapse, as soon as I did that, it was able to uh, get into place. Now, it takes a little bit of soft touch um, with a rubber mallet to get it lined up, but here we go. Beam is in. I have some things I need to tighten up. There she is. Do it all over again.